beautiful offertory music. Now we're going to have story time with Miss Deborah. It says, you shall make a candlestick of pure gold, of beaten work shall the candlestick be made. His shaft and his branches, his bowl, his knops, and his flowers shall be of the same. There's supposed to be six branches coming out of the sides of it. Three branches of the candlestick on one side and three branches on the other side. Oh, this is too hard to think about. That's so hard. How about we look at something that might look a little like it? It's not exactly the way it's supposed to look because it's supposed to be real tall and we call it a candlestick but guess what was supposed to be in these little holders not, they didn't have they didn't use candles they used something else that would burn and it was pressed what was it they did use fire and to fuel the fire they used olive oil She said oil. Well, good that you said oil. So they would put oil in here, in the top, and then the fire would come, Michaela, and fire and oil, take this and pass it down. Everybody can hold it for a little bit. Give it to Michaela first. Fire and oil would make, what do you think it would do if it was sitting upright and burning with six of these things all on fire? What do you think? If you were in a dark, oil. yeah, you can say oil. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. The story's over. We don't have to have any more. <laughs> but what would be happening if there was? Okay. Say that thing was this big and this room was dark and we had the fire burning on the oil, what would I see? What would I get? Exactly, Philippe. 
light. We would get light. So what do we know about light? God wanted light in the place where he lives. And now God lives in your heart, right? And he has told us in a really wonderful place, Jesus said in chapter 8, big people, 8 and verse, I think I said, it's verse 12. He said, I am the light of the world. Can you say that with me? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So when you sing that little song, This Little Light of Mine, remember that God wants you to be the light of the world too. He wants so his words, his thoughts to come through your mouth. He wants you to look out your eyes like he's inside looking at those people. The next time I think about saying something mean, guess what? I'm going to remember Jesus is inside and he's looking out. Now, this young man was very smart about this oil. You need to let it go for a second. Can I offer you this to hold again? Would you hold it? And we're going to have a prayer that Jesus will make us the light of the world too. Will we do that? Okay, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you said, let the little children come unto me and forbid them not. And thank you, Father, that you sent your Holy Son to be our example and to give us the Holy Spirit and that we can be light, shining in the dark place wherever we go. Help us to let our light shine. Amen. In Jesus' name. Okay, you get to go back to your seats.